honestly, it's not just about money. It's about mental health, physical health. When is the last time you worked out? I don't look happy folding clothes. I don't look happy folding mountains of clothes. And today, I was feeling kind of depressed a little bit looking at those pile of stuff that I just don't know where to put because the drawers they're not organized and there's just stuff everywhere and in every single corner of my house there is stuff that don't belongs there and I know I have too much stuff and I'm at that point of my life where it's just overwhelming me it's too much and it's like it's like yelling help me inside I need to do something about it today I just thought about just going in the kitchen and grabbing garbage bag and just shoving the stuff in the garbage bag and giving it to the next person <sighs> but doing something like that will be impulsive and it wouldn't really help me on the long run. I need to do it step by step, but I need to take the time to do it because this is going to make me feel better. This is going to make me feel more energetic, give me the time to work out and give me the time to spend with my family, the quality time that they need. Because having a mom that is there on the edge of the bed, stressed out because my house looked like a mess and crazy, it's not my kid's fault. I know they say have your kids help you, but it's not my kid's mess. It's not my kid's fault that they have 10,000 toys or that they have too much clothes or that I just don't fold clothes on time and 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 and. But sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Now you're wondering, what is the title of the video? How can I save money? I mean, trust me, when you start decluttering, wow, you're going to see the amount of money you spend unnecessarily. You're going to feel really bad. But it's part of the process. Because as long as you don't declutter, you keep spending and you keep spending and you keep spending and sometimes you don't even know what you keep buying because you just keep on shoving it somewhere and it get lost. You might buy a second pair of it because you forgot that you actually had one. This is the issue. But one honest thought is that for me it considerably reduced my impulsive buying because I am super impulsive person I go in shops and I just like buy things that on the spot I think they're gonna be amazing and I'm gonna need them and I'm gonna use them and then I just come home and they get lost again in the wardrobe so having a clutter free space is going to help with that matter because you're going to remember with that everything that you got rid of that you didn't need you're gonna think twice about bringing something back into your house do I really need that am I really going to use it what is it helpful what is it gonna bring me joy in my life for me right now this is the main question does it bring me joy does it bring me joy that's a big question now also you're going to be thinking twice about buying something because you're going to think is it going to bring more mess in my house? Is it going to make me um, pick up again, spend my, my, my life picking up stuff? Right now, I'm over, not, I'm not overthinking, I'm rethinking everything, even my kid's toy and all of that. I used to just buy, buy, buy you know, because I thought, oh, it's going to make them happy. But then at the end of the day, you're just overwhelming them too. You're stressing them because you're giving them too much. They don't need that much. And then at the end of the day, you expect them to pick up all of that. 
but that's a lot and that's too much and they are under your authority meaning that you are there as a parent to help them grow and help help them be better and to construct themselves in the best way so I don't want that for my kids anymore I see it so much even because now I have my oldest she's about to be eight and then my youngest he's about to be two and I see that whole stages that they went through and my little baby he plays with anything and everything he doesn't need baby toys okay yeah he have he had he had a few and he have some but what I mean is that the market out there they have so much variety and stuff and it's just basically to help to to push you to consume so having a clutter free house really do help with um, you making the best choice of what you bring in your house and what you need and for me I really do see the difference right now and I do feel feel overwhelmed it's crazy it's not done I'm not over right now I'm going through my closet and I'm looking at stuff that basically I haven't wear since a year um, but they're just sitting there because I guess of some insecurity of oh but what if one day or what if I still want to wear them in a few months but no they've been sitting there for way too long you're not going to wear them just give them to the next person someone out there is probably going to be happy to have that and I hope they can enjoy it and I hope they can wear it actually so it's tough sometimes I, I don't I don't get sentimental anymore because why am I gonna keep something because of an emotion where in reality I could just be happy with someone else benefiting from it what is better than that holding on to something because you feel sadness or happiness oh no just get, get give it give it and be happy and you'll have reward it's amazing so I'm going through my closet I give it a lot of dress today they've been on my mind for weeks they've I've just didn't had the the courage to go and grab them and put them in a bag and now I feel lighter I even went thinking like oh but what if I keep them and I bring them to a woman that know how to sew and I ask her hey can you make a mini version for my daughter and then I was just like really are you serious are you that desperate that you don't want to give just just give it away give it away and you'll find everything that you need when it's time now I'm going through my blanket cabinet I have so much blanket I have so much bed sheets I'm the queen of bed sheet and, and blanket and pillows and throws and everything you you can think I did reduce a lot the amount of it now I'm just putting back some blankets that are just taking space in my vital vital environment um, but you know I'm doing some effort and that's what's count I see the bags uh, going out of my house by the end of the day and I'm not the, the issue is that sometimes you give but you bring back in your house that I'm not doing that right now this is why I am saving because I am giving so I'm clearing my space from clutter but I'm not adding right now I'm not adding I'm giving I'm just giving and I'm I'm going with the flow and when it's time to add something when my kids outgrow their clothes and I need to go buy clothes I want to pick what I need what they need actually and what is smart I know there's stuff that I buy that they just don't wear and I'm the type of mom that I like my kids to be comfortable in their clothes so I don't buy jeans I don't buy tight clothes or I love pajamas there's specific piece of clothes that I know they don't wear but I used to buy them you know when you see a good sale and it's just like buy one get one free oh buy six get one free and you just carry and buy and buy and buy stuff that you don't need but you want the free things at the end so you end up just spending money 
to get something free which all of them are just going to be sitting on a shelf in your house. This whole marketing situation is making me a little bit tired. We do need stuff, we do buy stuff, but I want to do smart purchase. Don't go buy stuff on sale because it's on sale because you think you're saving. This I got, took it at my own, own game a few times. Oh, you just end up spending money and not really benefiting from it. I'm still really at the beginning of my decluttering journey. And I look at my stuff and I know they are going to end up in a bag. I just know it deep down. But I'm sometimes you just can't do it all at once. I'm just doing it slowly. And it helps me actually get to that point where it's like, okay, I'm ready. Today I'm ready. I'm going in that area and I'm just, I know what I need. I know what I want. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm being over with the rest. Today I did, I did okay. I decluttered um, a whole bag. I also, I'm going to show you my clutter in a few seconds. I have clutter in all area of my house. So this is uh, one dresser that is in my living room. It's full of stuff, books that we just don't really access, it's just sitting there. The second drawer is full of diaper pail. Yes, I just don't have it anymore, but I still have the bags. Yes, they're going. And then the second drawer, it's a skirt that my sister-in-law gave me that I put there so I could wear it and so it could not get lost. Well, hello. It's there. Empty, dra empty dryer, wow, good job. Now I'm trying to open the other door, it just doesn't work, there's no handle. This dresser is actually going away soon too. Full of stuff that don't get used, that are waiting to get donated, probably. Those bins, those bins are full of nonsense. Wow, I have so much of them. You're gonna see. Now today I'm not showing you all my clutter, but I'm showing you a glisp of it. Glips of it? Ah, the famous library from Ikea. Wow, full of books and other things. Yes, don't look too close. Ah, treasure that I don't put at the right place. Ah, yeah, you know, this is me. Now, how long is this going to stay on the floor? That's another good question. This is full of stuff. Also, clothes that I have to reorganize. Um, yes, I do have a lot of those mop uh, stuff here and there, and I just don't use the mop. So I guess it's going away too. Slowly, surely, but honestly, Decluttering is going to help you save. Don't underestimate it. It's going to make you feel guilty a little bit about every money you spend, but it's part of the process. Yes, my, my wardrobe, they're not really organized, but I guess it comes with a clutter-free house. Yeah, you know, there I guess I'm just gonna let you look at it because I don't really have much to say. I guess you feel overwhelmed as well. Sometimes I just uh, want to call my mom and ask her if she can come and organize it all for me. Because honestly, sometimes I feel like I can't. Ah, but we are stronger than that. Oh. Random stuff everywhere. I wonder if your house is as messy as mine. The famous battery. They are in every single bin of them, except when I need one, I can't find any. Can you believe that? 
the amount of battery that I have. So imagine with all the rest of the stuff, this is where it goes back again, that when you start decluttering, you will start saving. Because every single time that I go buy new batteries, I don't use the one that already exists. And then even worse than that, most of the time when you buy new batteries and you lost them around the house, then you end up buying new batteries that get lost around the house. And then there's a vicious circle even worse than that. Sometimes you just find those batteries again and you just think, oh, but they're not good. So you just throw them in the garbage. And my bins again, full of bins. But it's a worse and works work in progress and I'm getting somewhere. It just can feel overwhelming sometimes. This is the bag that I decluttered today. And also, hello, I am getting rid of this amazing little IKEA table for my kids. I loved it. I really loved it. It just doesn't make me happy anymore because it's never where it's supposed to be. My cabinet, my medicine cabinet, full of stuff that I don't know what's inside and I don't use. Mystery package. Because it's not organized. Because if it was organized, I would actually know what's inside and I would be using it. Well, overall, I hope that you feel more motivated to clean your own house and to declutter. Because you can see that real houses sometimes look crazy. And it's the case for my house. But the most important part is to know that there is an issue. To recognize that there is an issue and then you can move further. So don't lose hope and just try and be better a little bit every single day. And don't forget that it's going to affect your mental health in a good way and hopefully your physical health as well. Thank you for watching.